we want to find the area of the trapezoid in square meters. So the first thing we might notice here is the dimensions are not in meters. This length is in centimeters, and these two lengths are in kilometers or kilometers. Let's begin by converting all the units to meters. Let's first convert 1,200 centimeters to meters. We may recognize that because 100 centimeters is equal to one meter, 1,200 centimeters would be equal to 12 meters. But just in case we don't recognize this, let's show the conversion by multiplying by a unit fraction. So to begin, we'll write 1,200 centimeters as a fraction with a denominator of one. We're going to multiply by a unit fraction, which is fraction equal to one to convert centimeters to meters. Now for the unit fraction, because 100 centimeters is equal to one meter, and we don't want centimeters in our answer, we'll write centimeters in the denominator and meters in the numerator. And again, the conversion is one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So because these lengths are equal, this fraction is equal to one, but notice how the units of centimeters simplifies out, and now if we multiply, we'd have 1,200 divided by 100 meters, which equals 12 meters. So now we know 1,200 centimeters equals 12 meters. Next, we'll convert 0 0.02 kilometers to meters. So we'll write 0 0.02 kilometers as a fraction with the denominator of one. Again, we'll multiply by a unit fraction to convert kilometers or kilometers to meters. Because we don't want kilometers in our answer, we'll write kilometers in the denominator and meters in the numerator. And again, the conversion is 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So we have 1,000 meters over one kilometer. The units of kilometers simplifies out. 0 0.02 times 1,000 is equal to 20. So we have 20 meters. So this length is equal to 20 meters. And now we'll convert 0 0.025 kilometers to meters, which we should recognize is going to be 25 meters. But let's go ahead and show it. 0 0.025 kilometers over one times the unit fraction, 1,000 meters over one kilometer. Again, notice how the units of kilometers simplifies out. 0 0.025 times 1,000 is equal to 25 giving us 25 meters. So this length is 25 meters. Now that we have the correct units, the volume of a trapezoid is equal to 1 half times the quantity B sub 1 plus B sub 2 times H, where B sub 1 and B sub 2 are the lengths of the two bases, which are the two parallel sides, and H is the height. So notice how we still don't have the height of the trapezoid, which would be this distance here. But notice how by sketching the height, h, we now have a right triangle here on the left because this is a right angle. And this is actually a special right triangle because this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and therefore this acute angle in this special right triangle would be 30 degrees. And any 30, 60, 90 right triangle will be proportional to the right triangle where the short leg has a length of one the hypotenuse has a length of two, the long leg has a length of square root three. So because this right triangle is proportional to this right triangle, we can set up a proportion in order to determine the length of this leg here, which will give us the height of the trapezoid. Notice how this height corresponds to the long leg in this 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So we can say h is to square root three as we know the length of this hypotenuse is 12, and the length of this hypotenuse is two. So again, we can say h is to square root three as 12 is to two. And now we can cross multiply and solve for h. h times two must equal square root three times 12. So we'd have two h equals 12 square root three, and to solve for h, we would divide both sides by two. So we have h, the height, is equal to six square root three. So now we know the height h is equal to six square root three meters. And now we have all the information we need 
in order to find the area of the trapezoid. The area is equal to 1 half times the quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2, which would be 25 plus 20, times the height, which we now know is 6 square root of 3. So we have the area equals 1 half times 45 times 6 square root of 3. Notice the 6 and the 2 share a common factor of 2. So the 2 would simplify to 1, the 6 would simplify to 3. So the exact area is going to be equal to 45 times 3 is equal to 135. So the exact area is 135 square root 3 square meters. Now it's also got a decimal approximation for the area. To do this, we'll use the calculator. So we'll enter 135 times square root 3. Enter. To two decimal places, this will be approximately 233.83 square meters. I hope you found this helpful.